Hi guys, it's Rob Marine Gear. Hope you're doing very well. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also as a plan B, because you always need a plan B and C and D and E, um, subscribe to my mailing list, my email mailing list, which is the yellow MailChimp icon on my homepage, which you can get to by clicking my little name thing below this before YouTube suppression becomes YouTube deletion. So, um, <laughs> it'd be nice to not have to rely on a social media, so please do, you know, sign up to that mailing list first day of each month I send out a rather brilliant email. Okay, so, if you, this is about masks, face, face masks and peer pressure. To wear a mask or to not wear a mask, because they're in both directions. This is speaking from a UK perspective in Somerset, okay? So, if you're, if you feel you must wear a mask, you might be thinking, do these other people not get it? You aren't wearing masks? Do they want, like, do they want me dead? Do they want to catch it themselves and get dead? Because this is so deadly. Do they want um, my grandma to be dead? Do they want their granddad to be dead? Do they, are they just completely reckless anarchists? Uh, do they, should they be, you know, told off in some way? Um, the government's being honest about this, which is following common sense NHS gu gu uh, guidelines. Wear masks. Studies in favour of it, you know, do it. Uh, if you don't want to wear a mask, you might think, uh, this, is, this is a bit creepy, everyone going around in blue or black masks. It's a bit like like a hospital or a ISIS. <laughs> it's like, it's, well, it's, people look a lot different covered in a black facial piercing. It's, it's almost like a, a Muslim theocracy is being imposed on uh, UK bus drivers, um, to say the least. Like, that people are thinking, who don't want to wear a mask, I'm asked to being suffocate, suffocate myself uh, in a heat wave. Um, not in gyms or cinemas or restaurants, but uh, on buses and in shops. And some people have a more conspiracy mindset or open-minded mindset uh, or reckless mindset might say, well, isn't that interesting? The, um, <laughs> the, the deep state, the shadow government want everyone to see what's going on. And even the, even the destitute people laid in the street who can't go in gyms and um, cinemas and restaurants have to at least go to a shop once in a while probably and have to see buses going by and they probably even have to get the bus and everyone has to see the double day the double decker procession of um, masked it looks like they're on the way to some sort of internment camp frankly but so yeah if you, if you were if you were feeling uncomfortable about the masks you might think that I understand both points of view, right? It's been a <laughs> it's been a crazy like four years, personally, but it's been a particularly crazy six years, and it's been a particularly crazy seven or eight months. Um, personally, I won't wear a mask, you know. Uh, not know how, no where, no place uh, ever. Even with a gun to my head, um, I wouldn't wear a mask. And by the way, people in the UK like this isn't law. Even if it was law. I wouldn't be doing it. This isn't law. This is this, it's impossible to enforce this kind of law. It's a ridiculous law, and everyone, most people know it. They just go along with it because of the intense social pressure. Um, it's not law. Like there are places where you, you people will put a gun to your head if you don't do what they say, and there are people who say no in those conditions. And if you're saying no under the conditions of some guy at Tesco saying you can't come in without a mask, just say yeah, the, the the transport, or at least the transport. Uh, police literature says, a valid excuse for not wearing a mask because you feel severe distress. You're also not lying if you don't want to wear a mask and you say that, so. And what are they going to do? Knock you out? Drag you in the back room and force you to wear a couple of call the police? Like, guys, if you go around, okay, I'll tell you a little story. Um, I went to Tesco the other day, okay, and there's now a sign saying, I can't remember if it says, please wear a mask or wear a mask or we insist. It's not, it wasn't we insist, but it was like, the guy, like, it just, I think it just said, wear a mask. And obviously everyone's like, in and out, resent, resentfully. Um, seems to be a bit of self-hatred in the air. Anyway, I went in without a mask. I've got this t-shirt that says, you'll be okay, with like a big <laughs> Buddha meditating, I was smiling. I put on my glasses, which I think make me look a bit, a bit less, less intimidating. And, um, and also like I might be like mentally disabled. I think if I smile enough and walk around with a t-shirt saying, you'll be okay, Without a mask, people might leave me alone f through fear of appearing disabled phobic. 
or uh, <laughs> um, physically challenge phobia, you know, because that'll be coming next. It's, it's, that's at least they're real words in the in the, um, in the lexicon of, uh, of bigotry. So yeah, I didn't. No, no one looked at me funny. A few surprised. Look, I couldn't really tell because everyone was looking at the floor, looking all beaten down, wearing a mask, hiding their facial expressions and emotions. It, it was a bit strange. Yeah, no one gave me any hassle. I felt very proud of myself. I felt happy afterwards for staying free. And then, um, <laughs> so, uh, okay, two more things. As, as for debates with strangers in parks about face masks, which even I have taken the bait and, you know, you're like, don't need to wear that, you know, you want to have people there. And, and yeah, mentioning st everyone's got a study or two, pro mask against mask, everyone's got one. There's no, we're not operating on logic anymore. You might have noticed we're operating on the advertising model, we're operating on emotional touch points. Uh, to, it, it, we already were, but now on steroids. Um, so, I don't know how you're going to talk someone around, or if you want to talk someone around to wearing a mask or not wearing a mask, but bear in mind, if, maybe if you do, logic isn't necessarily going to get you there, and, and saying, I've got a study. Uh, we'll just we'll just get a knee jerk. Well, I've got a study that says this. Do you know what I mean? Kind of have to steal man and, and understand each other's points of view, which is difficult and something I've always found very difficult. As you've probably noticed if you've watched this channel, um, um, steal man. You know, give the other person the benefit of the doubt. Like they've probably got good reasoning for wearing these masks. I'll, I'll be honest. It sends us a, a little <laughs> shudder of horror through my soul when I see a bus now. It looks like people on their way to Auschwitz. All masked up, defeated, um, in black, black masks, blue masks. Look, my friend's mum made me this. People who wear masks, look, even this is a bit creepy. Hello, I'm a human being, you want to talk to me today? Well, that's how you look, I'm afraid, if you insist on wearing a mask. And if this is black, the last people to make these black masks popular were ISIS, who were considered the most terrifying terrorist group ever, so... A few years ago, uh, sort of still are even, and we forget quickly. So, but a lot of people are walking around dressed as the most scary terrorists. It's like everyone walking around in a Freddy Krueger costume or holding the scream mask to their face in a way. It's all quite um, interesting. Okay, and the last thing, a uh, little story that inspired me. The same Tesco, I was starting the car, waiting for my friend to come out, everyone going in. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I did that noise, sorry. I'm, I'm practicing my simpleness for getting out of trouble with a. Uh, with um, supermarket or shopping mall security guard. <sighs> Everyone was getting in and out of masks, not proudly, not walking with it, but like, mm. and one guy came out of this and I was like, yes mate, through the car and he's like, I'm not a sheep. And <laughs> like that. But he wasn't, he wasn't being a dick about it, you know, it was, I think he'd, I think he'd practiced his lines and that was the best he could come up with and it's a pretty good one. It, 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 I'm not a sheep, you know, I'm not a sheep. I'm not, it's a little bit insulting, but, but maybe that's what some people need. This is way in the country as well, so people view sheep with a bit less novelty. I don't know. Like, anyway, that's my... Um, I'm trying to, trying to be as balanced as, as possible. It's difficult. It's very difficult for me. Um, <laughs> especially because I keep getting... Um, my viewing figures do strange acrobatics in the hundreds or thousands sometimes um, now. Ever since I um, made a video about uh, Facebook deleting my account after I made a post about George Floyd, um, just pointing out that he put a shot into a pregnant woman's stomach, a uh, black lady, whilst his friends pretended to be from the waterboard and robbed her house, ransacked her house, stole things from her house. And I saw what was going on. I saw he was being used with this beautiful name, George Floyd, as a plaster saint for the excuse of fascism. And so I thought that the idea needed a shotgun in the face. And I gave it one on Facebook and got a lot of hate for it. 400 comments or something. Made a little video. Facebook by, 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 deleted my account for half a day. And then reinstated it after I made a video. I'm not saying they did it because of my video. But I did make a video that got quite a lot of views. About 5,000 views now. Quite a lot of me. Saying, um, just explaining they deleted my account. And why. And then I, I, I did put under the video after that. To, to be fair to Facebook, they did reinstate me. But... Yeah, on YouTube, things are definitely odd with my... People people, people have said my videos haven't been popping up and, and things like that. Not, It's easy to type a name into an algorithm if someone tells you they're troublesome. So I'm not blaming YouTube or saying everyone's, someone's got it in for me or... But um, 
yeah, get on the mailing list, guys, because then we can be in touch for life without the um, without relying on social media. All right, take it easy. Try and try and wake up and think positive. Put on some positive speech on YouTube or something. Um, do some loving kindness meditation. Do some yoga. Don't be going on dating sites or you've or social media straight away or if at all. Treat your phone like a class A drug. And if you don't want to wear a mask, but you feel compelled into doing it, and you're doing it, then you're a coward because, um, <laughs> sorry, it's not law. It's not even law. And if it was, it's, this is England. They're not going to turn up with their jack boots and crush your testicles on the floor. And, and you know, <sighs> grow, some, grow some gonads, people of England, at least. And, um, <laughs> and if you want to wear a mask, make a... Make a Make up. You might have guessed I don't want to wear one, but I'm trying to make it balance. If you want to wear one, make one, but wear your mask in it, so we can all hear. <laughs> so we can all hear nice and clear, and see nice and clear your expression. But as I repeat, I, I choose not to wear one. The reason, my reasoning is, I don't want to look really creepy and freak out the old ladies and like students who live in the, the community I live in. Um, voila. That's why I'm not doing it. And because during a heat wave, I don't think it's a good idea to not be able to breathe. Okay? Even if the government advises it. Uh, even if someone's advising the government that. Like, anyway, there goes my objectivity. Subscribe, guys. See you later. Bye. Peace.